Hey guys, so I was just watching this video. Uh, I have turned off the sound. I don't want to get copyright strike. And I saw this effect. So as it goes uh, a bit ahead, it's a visual effect. You can see that light flickering. So it flickers on a base. So I thought that was interesting. And how could I get this in Unreal? So I thought, let's try to connect the frequency of the sound with uh, some property in Unreal. So uh, I just wanted to do a test. I know that there is a sound visualization plugin and uh, we can uh, turn it on. It's not there in default, but you can go to plugins and turn uh, look for audio and you should have this sound visualization plugin or let's see whether it is somewhere else. Yeah, so this sound visualization plugin is what you want to be turned on. Let's restart it. What it does is it uses some new notes in your blueprint. Just waiting for it to restart. Yeah, so this should, if you look at uh, what it does, contains functions to help with visualization of sound. So I haven't tried it, so let me see what it does. We'll create a new blueprint. We'll call it sound visualizer or something. And what I'll try to do is I'll try to connect the frequency of the sound directly to uh, say the scale of the of a cube or something. So let's take a cube, put it in here. And uh, some file, and let us put in a sound. I need a sound. What I will do is let me find the audio file. I have this wave file. You need a wave file, not an MP3 file, because. Uh, it's easier to work with the view file in Unreal. Let me just play it. Okay. So we'll use this as a source. Now what this uh, plugin that we activated has added is uh, frequency something. So uh, calculate frequency spectrum which you will find under the tab sound visualization so okay let's do that and so it breaks it down uh, so basically you can load the sound that you have over this tab tab okay uh, you can choose whichever channel channel of sound to calculate zero to combine okay so we'll combine start time is uh, Okay, let me kind of show it. Yeah, so what this does is uh, if this is your say an MP3 file, okay, this is a complete song. Start time will ask you. Okay, from where do I need to sample this? And the length, time length is this. Okay, so it is going to sample this, probably, is what I think. Uh, so, okay, and it's going to output a spectrum. Uh, this width that it uh, 
takes this time length that it has sampled. Let's expand it. This it will be breaking down into as many uh, numbers you specified in the spectrum grid. So if it is this and I type 10, it is going to divide it into 10 equal parts. So how much is this? 6, six 7 equal parts. So if I put it at here at 10, that little thing is going to be divided into 10 equal parts. And uh, that output, whatever value it calculates for that, it's going to output as an array. Okay, so let's, let's not worry about it. Let's just connect this. Uh, I also need the sound to play. So what I'll do is I'll play sound to the let's put this Okay, so when the game starts, it should play and it should also do this calculation. Uh, okay, and what we'll do is we'll connect it to the scale of the cube. Let's see. I haven't done this before, so I am also kind of searching like what it is. So this will do a set scale, set scale, no, set world scale. And this uh, we will take a reference, and uh, because it's going to give us 10 values, because we have said spectrum width is equal to 10, let us take say like the ninth index of the array and connect it to the scale. And let's see what happens. So essentially what it should do is every tick, it should take the sound wave, uh, take this out, re break it up, take that value out, this value to keep on changing as the sound plays and then it should be able, it should be able to scale it. Uh, let's drag this blueprint here. And I play. Okay, play nothing. Something has gone terribly wrong. What has gone wrong? So, okay. Perhaps the scale of the object is not. Ah, the time length is zero. Let me put it at point 0.1. Because there is no value coming. So, yeah. Let's see. Oh, there we are. Oh, the speed is super. It doesn't seem to be moving. Okay, so let me just reduce the scale of the cube. Let's multiply by say 0 0.1 or something. So that the cube is much smaller. Oh, there it is. Why does it look real? And it's not moving. I think it looks weird because the value is negative and also it doesn't seem to be moving. Ah, oh, yes, it's not moving because I have set the start time at zero. This value has to be changed. So we will look for game time, get game time in seconds. Okay, so this value, input value will keep on changing and as it moves ahead, we will get uh, the frequency spectrum to be calculated at different points. Okay. 
there it is working however it looks wrong what is wrong over there oh, i think the value is negative so what we will do is we will take an absolute let me just arrange it nicely Okay, there it is. This value then you can connect to anything. So, for example, we could probably add a light, and we could connect it uh, to the intensity of the light, or uh, we can read out different values of the array and have different parts of the frequency. For example, if I were to you see that uh, this song has. In the bass, you have different frequency, and in the treble, you have different values. So we can pick different areas of this by uh, outputting each value to a different way. So yeah, let's you can try this, and I hope you learn something. Ask me questions in the comments if you want to, uh, like if you want me to expand this further, or if you have any queries.